Welcome to your Flame Fundamentals training. When it comes to finishing your production, color grading is equally as important as any visual effects. In short, color grading is the manipulation of colors to stylize your production. And this also includes matching shots from different cameras, locations, time of day, etc. Every production is touched by look development and Flame is well equipped to help you achieve the look you want. So in this video, you'll be introduced to grading via the effects environment, getting to grips with the scopes, and start becoming familiar with the powerful Master Grade toolset. When you want to start grading your segments in the sequence, it's as easy as selecting a segment and switching to the effects environment. If you have used any other grading tools in the past, you should recognize some of the typical color grading tools. Now very importantly, you are in an area known as the effects environment and not the grading or color environment. The reason for stating the obvious is that the effects environment is also used for other timeline effects applied to the selected segment. If nothing is applied to the shot, then the grading tools will always appear as the default interface. If you see something different to what I have, you would go to the effects ribbon and choose the image timeline effects. Now when a timeline effects has an orange LED, it means it's ready to use, but it has not been applied to the current shot. So if you move to another shot without doing anything, no timeline effects will be applied. Only when you perform an adjustment, the LED will turn blue and now the effect is applied to your shot. To delete what you've done, right click on the Timeline Effects ribbon for its menu and choose Delete. The LED turns orange again, which means it's not been applied to the shot, but it's ready to use if you do. Now the layout of the effects environment is quite focused but very straightforward. You have the viewer at the top to see your shots, a storyboard reel in the middle to identify and navigate the shots in the current sequence, and your controls at the bottom to perform your grading. The panel to the right is known as the Explorer, and this is where you would save any grading or VFX presets, as well as any reference images you may use for a grading comparison. Since you'll do some of that later, hold CONTROL and gesturally swipe right to hide the Explorer. You can also turn the Explorer on and off using the Flame main menu. If anything, it gives you a bit more room to see your images. Now in terms of navigating your shots, I mentioned the storyboard reel earlier, where you can scroll the sequence and select shots. If you have more than one video track in the sequence, you can switch tracks using the pull down menu. The time bar is also another means of moving between shots. By default, the time bar shows the entire sequence and you can navigate the shots. If you want to lock the positioner to a single shot, hold CONTROL and the positioner won't go beyond the beginning or end of the current segment. Now let's say you want the time bar to focus on a single shot instead of showing everything, you can switch the player options from Timeline Range to Segment Range. To technically analyze your images, Flame comes equipped with a variety of scopes to look at your images in different ways. The suggested layout is to switch your viewer to a two up view. Next, Choose the view you want to use for the scopes by clicking on either image. Now click the scopes button and your default scopes will appear. The scopes function in real time and will update with any changes in the viewport. To help you along, click the arrow next to the scopes button to give you a range of presets to choose from. Everything from different kinds of scopes all the way up to scopes configured for HDR grading. 
You can also open the scope settings and tweak the layout. As well as any scope settings to get the appropriate readings. The scope settings are persistent and you shouldn't have to set this up again. However, if this is always what you use, I suggest saving it as a preset. When you enter the effects environment with the image timeline effects, the main grading tool you use is known as the Master Grade. This is a powerful yet easy to use tool with full HDR support. At the top left of the viewport, you have the grading pipeline from left to right. In a typical grading scenario, you would start off in your primary grading tools and start balancing out your image. This is followed by one selective for isolated adjustments or what some call power windows. And finally, an output grade for any final overall grading. So the heads up display shows your grading pipeline and it's also a way to navigate the grading tools. There are also other ways to see and navigate the grading pipeline, but the HUD is certainly one of the fastest. If you don't see it in the view, ensure you are looking at the result view or one of the contextual views using the pull down menu. Choosing the primary grade in the heads up display, the master grade gives you primary, tone, and curve controls. Everything can be driven by the cursor, keyboard, or supported tangent grading panels. Plenty of options to choose from. For instance, you could switch to the primary controls and adjust the overall levels using lift, gamma, gain, and offset sliders. You could also use any of the wheels to add or remove color from a shot. If you prefer to adjust the colors with RGB sliders instead of the color wheel, hold Option and swipe to the bottom of the wheel. You can now adjust the colors numerically and fine tune exactly what you want. To develop your look even further, you can switch to the tone controls where you can grade a shot with a dedicated focus on the shadows, midtones, and highlights. And finally, you have the curve controls where color is mapped on a curve in various forms. You have RGB, hue, saturation, and luminance curves. Each curve is incredibly precise and you can move the points to manipulate the color mapping on the curve. You can add points manually using the Add Points tool, and you can also plot a color on any curve, which can then be adjusted with a high degree of accuracy. This is just some of the functionality of the curves, and more detail is covered in other videos. As you are grading your images, there always comes a point where you want to see the grade with or without a certain adjustment. I'm sure that you noticed that making any adjustment will turn the LED on for that menu. So Flame tells you where adjustments were made, and you can also click on the LEDs to disable specific adjustments and not the others. This is super useful as you develop the grade. Taking this one step further, if at any point you want to mute or hide the grade to see the original, just click the blue LED in the Timeline Effects ribbon to disable the entire effect. Clicking the LED again will bring back the grade. Please move on to the next video and don't forget to like and subscribe to the Flame Learning channel. Thanks for watching.